bug. <laughs> We got some anti-slippy paint. Tomorrow we're gonna be redoing the side decks and the main decks. The boat's last owner had the floor type that's peeling up. Yeah, I'm just using the official floor scraping tool to get the pieces that are super loose. We're gonna leave the lion's share of it because as the old money pit expression says, that should be good enough. Take these things off. I'm gonna go get like a sander. That way we'll just sand it off real quick. This is as long as we can get the particles up so it's not like peeling. I uh, put Mark to work. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Fixing up the side uh, walkway here. here. Where's the tape measure? Oh, for <laughs> sake. <laughs> My biggest role here is finding this kid. It's right, it's right here. It's the fifth time I found it for him today. You passed the test. <laughs> <laughs> so he's doing that. I hacked up the uh, floor down there. Got rid of all the stuff that was easy to come off. The rest can stay. And honestly, I think we went beyond the good enough and we straight up hit the pretty good. This actually extends a decent amount right here, so that's kind of nice. My big belly can't fit through the air conditioning gap. I can, it's just not convenient. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you right now. <laughs> Ooh, I smell campfire. So do I. Are some of the leaves in between the pontoons on fire right now? Why would they be? From all the red hot action on here. <laughs> <laughs> Last plank. Here we go. Ooh wee. Now we can go all the way around and not even have to step on a pontoon. Well, there's tons of funds in the way. <laughs> oh. oh, one boob at a time. Look at me now, Dad. <laughs> My dad's dead. <laughs> I don't like how it, there's a big old gap right here. Might be good for like water drainage. Yeah, know. sure. Yeah. That's how we designed it. It's designed. It. Say it's at least a step above good enough and into the pretty good territory. Agreed. Today we are putting on Tough Grip Extreme, which comes with a bonus little crosslinker. It's your classic urethane activator. It's supposed to rain tonight at like three in the morning. It says four to six hours and you're good to go, but then at full cure time is 24. So I hope that it doesn't half cure and then the rain come and just destroy it. We don't know how to put it on properly. In my head, we take that stuff, mix it into that thing in a separate container. I don't know why. There's not enough room to mix it in here. So now we have to find another container, eh? What's a two gallon container other than two gallons of milk? They sell milk in two gallons. I don't drink it because it's nasty. <laughs> but let me go see if Lauren's got a bucket we can ruin. There's Coots. Got the bucket. The game plan is to tug this all over to my brother's house, right over there. Paint over there since we're gonna have to be like on and off. Deck. Bigger deck, much easier. <laughs> Mark, you're about to hit the, oh God. No, you're getting away. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> hey, man. What's up, buddy? And this is hot. They said it was very thick. <laughs> there we go. Oh, oh man. Oh. Oh. This shit rips off. You gotta go slow. I don't know how this covers 75 square feet. Looks good. Yeah. Looks like the very non slippery. Yeah. All right. Eight square feet done. Lots to go. No, you don't leave. stuff so thick it won't even come out of the bucket. It's like we need gloves and just use our hands. Things are going bad. 
This stuff is so sticky, we ripped up all the tape. The leaves are getting in it. It's all over our hands. It is very thick. It says 75 square feet per can. And I think it's about, what would you say, seven or eight? <laughs> we thought we had enough to paint that thing. There's no chance. We're already almost out of our second can. We haven't even done here or the back or the whole side over here. I'm gonna mix, mix up another batch. June's got me feeling great. Yeah. <laughs> about 24 hours later it's grippy dry we got a couple cracks where we kind of expected bad stuff to happen because there was tape there and bolt probably flexes quite a bit all in all we'll, we'll call it a success we're gonna go back and do some touch-ups not too shabby <laughs> Apparently you don't just grab the bunghole and rip because you take one in the face. That's a hell of a sentence. Right? <laughs> what part am I doing? Just like all like the frame in the front and side, like two by four basically. I don't know, just, just paint whatever you want. <laughs> Mark just got done Tom Sawyering me into painting his table when I wanted him to huck fin me onto his raft. What does that even mean? <laughs> I just huck fin this guy, <laughs> clean my broken boat, and then knife. Dude's just explained that story to me. I think I used it wrong, but. <laughs> <laughs> I think it expands a lot, so you half fill the cracks or something like that. Wear eye protection. Yeah. Always wear eye protection, gloves. I got a lot of paint on my hand that works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure your surface is clean from dirt, dust, and other substances. <laughs> what about really long hairs? They don't mention that. Okay. Fill void by half to avoid overflows. I would say fill the, fill the void. So that way it sucks into like over here. I think we can <laughs> it expanding like cause the boat to pop apart. <laughs> After an hour. All right, I'm bored for <laughs> Yeah, like that. There you go. That's half full, right? Yeah. That's good. Oh, this isn't performing the way I expected. Yeah. I would say jam it in there a lot. Seems like you got the technique. Is it actually blowing in? Or is it uh, just letting the air out of that thing? Oh, no, it's gone. Feels about cashed. Really? Oh, no. It's done. Ah. What in the hell? You blew your load at the start. That might be fine. Yeah. Get a paint stick and grab all this stuff and shove it in over here. Do we have any sticks? Scoop the goopy marshmallow and apply thoroughly. Let's say it's good for now. It like totally bounces. Yeah. I'm happy that we can see on the inside. Mm -hmm. That means it's doing something. Here we are, it's been about 10 minutes and we should have listened when they said only halfway fill. That's a whole bunch that's coming out. One little gap is empty, so Mark's going to get a couple of utensils to hopefully scrape some of that goop off and put it there. Jeez, look how much this is going. You think I could like, just like cut it? No. What? Marshmallow is thick. Mm-hmm. Come here. Oh, this is gonna work <laughs> great. <laughs> All right, it's done. <laughs> no, this is just not working. And now I'm gonna close this. And now this knife is never gonna work again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're back on the boat now. Oh, wow. That is. Can you open that real quick for me, please? It's all expanded. <laughs> Probably not the best tool to use. So that's enough of that for now. End of the day, finished doing our work. Sprayed that insulation foam underneath, chopped out the excess. This part wasn't fully full, so I jammed a couple pieces of that excess in there. Painting day again. I'm here to do the roof. Mark's being a daddy today. 
Time to do the roof. <clears throat> Just gonna use a little bit of primer. We got the kills because we hope it kills the mold and mildew that we have all throughout our ceiling. Ceiling? Yes, ceiling. That's a problem. We're hoping a layer of paint will help fix that. I did the front left so far. That's about a quarter of the roof. <clears throat> Good at math. I don't plan on doing the cross beams or whatever the hell this piece of wood is called. Mark and I have talked about doing all this all down here, the frames. There's only so much work we can put in towards making this thing look nice because it'll never look nice. Let me know in the comments, what do you think? Should I do the cross beams? Should I do all of this? I just came down to the boat while my kids are inside doing whatever they want. <laughs> Dude, this looks awesome. It's kind of cool with these, like, not painted. Like a log cabin. Like a log cabin. <laughs> Goodbye, Black Mall. <laughs> we'll see you later. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. I got to poop. <laughs> uh, I got to go. All right. Keep up the good work. Oh. Just a little bit over halfway done. Cover up uh, most of the black mold. It's coming along uh, pretty well. A few more uh, minutes, maybe an hour or so, and I should be able to have it all wrapped up. Painting the ceiling. I don't know how Michelangelo did that whole chapel. Dude, that looks good, man. Dude, bravo. Really ties the room together. Yeah. <laughs> Take a sander just on the faces and then paint it. That'll be super nice. As you can see, there's lots of cracks in the two by fours, which suck. What can you do? All right, Mark, give me a status update. We are painting. <laughs> and scene. We've been painting for a couple hours, trying to touch up what we had. Mark also did mention wanting to paint all of these supports but he did mention that i think before he realized how long painting takes oh yeah this is miserable <laughs> it's like that's why i need a sprayer gun because i think my attention span is <laughs> like for a cat i thought you meant like every now and then you want me to spray you with a bottle of water <laughs> <laughs> like focus <laughs> a spray gun <laughs> mark why don't you give us another status update still painting I was hoping you would say that. <laughs> I said something implying that we might not do the ceiling, but we ended up going ahead and doing that. Oh, spider. I saw a bunch of cobwebs with a bunch of sawdust. Well, this is gonna be an interesting texture when I paint over this. <laughs> oh, don't forget about the black mold. Paint over that, problem solved. Problem solved. <laughs> oh, just Still lean painting. right into it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I had a shot all set up. He beat me to the punch, folks. <laughs> We've just been uh, filling in the gaps right now. Do, 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 do. Money pit boating. Subscribe. If you want to check out the rest of the boat build, click on this playlist right here. Or if you want to see a tour, click on this video right here. And from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for watching. <sighs> Bye. <laughs>